Al Graham for the Cape Pixie Radio, the only nuclear powered radio station on God's Green Earth. This segment is Big Al's Luscious Special Treats, Dips, Chips, Combination of Fruit, Deep Fried Tortilla, Homemade Chocolate, Peanut Butter, Side of Oranges, Your Preferred Beverage, Grapes and Bananas. You can do anything you want. This is what I'm doing. So today I'm gonna to start by doing a little bit of work on a big one. Let's take this center one and go here. First, we're gonna put some homemade chocolate in the middle. Then we're gonna go for a bit of honey. Taste of honey, tasting much sweeter than wine. Oh, I will return. Oh, I will return. I'll come back for the honey and you. And there you have it, the Paul McCartney song, which I just butchered. Now you've got your grapes, now you've got your big bananas, it's almost like plantains, big fat, very tasty. Then, if you've a mind, a little bit of peanut butter, right in the middle of it, like that. Give it a little dollop of peanut butter, just to taste. You know, because peanut butter can be overwhelming. But in this case, it's a sweet, creamy peanut butter. And I'm just putting a little drizzle in there to give it the old one-two. Now, if you've a mind further, a little bit of this, oh, Godiva chocolate. You sprinkle it a little bit, you know, don't get too crazy about it. Just give it a little nice little dollop of this and a dollop of that. Then, I've made them in all shapes. You can like twist them any way you want. They're all delicious. No salt, just what you see. All different shapes, all different shape. Look at that big baby, a chalupa. I'm gonna make that one for myself. Got little twirly curlies, little stars, all kinds of things. It's up to you to get the creative going. I just did this for the, like the love of the food. Now, on top of this one, I'm gonna put a scoop of Vanilla, extra creamy vanilla ice cream. Holy, all oh, holy heaven comes to you when you take a bite of this. And I ain't kidding you. So you get the idea. You get some tortillas, you squish them up, you roll them up, you bend them up, you hold them down with a spatula while they're frying. It takes on all kinds of different shapes. Something to change it up, you know what I mean? Same thing over here. This one looks like my next door neighbor. Nope, wait a minute. It looks like one of those things that you see the face of an image of like a religious figure. And this is exactly what, it looks exactly like a, a like, it looks, it's kind of like, well, it's not, a, but it looks like it. You see the shape of that to the right there? Now, as soon as I figure out what this looks like, I'll let you know in the next report. But basically, Get creative, make it any shape you want. It doesn't matter, it's just a little fun thing to do. The point is, a simple dish, it's like little cuffs, not over the top here, I'm talking like a buck and a half maybe, if you're gonna sell it. So get creative, do what you wanna do. I'm having lovely ice cream on that one in a minute. I'm coming back there to investigate this one because I want to tell you, it's got a, it's like crispy fried and it tastes delicious. A little bit of oranges on the side if you want. I've got a melon over there too I'm going to bring in. And anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I'm calling this chocolate chupati and, uh, or the bread of life. Two good biblical phrases there. Chocolate chapati is, is something I invented. In Pakistan, in my orphanage, they make chapati, which is a, a, a fried dough with, you know, like meat and peas and carrots and all of that fried into it. It's delicious, by the way. So I'm making a version of it. Chocolate chapati, homemade chocolate. You know what, just to finish this off, I'm gonna give it a little extra homemade chocolate. The homemade chocolate is like, 
Expensive candy bars melted in there. A few M&Ms too, to be quite honest with you. And uh, it just gives it a, just a little, woof. you know what I mean? Now watch this. I'm going to do all of them. Watch that. Like that. Just going to do that with them, with the honey. Give it its own. Then I'm going to do this side over here with the honey, like there. I'm just going to give them a little honey. See? All over the whole thing, nice and liberal. Ooh, what an awful choice of words, Al. And there you have it. We'll, we'll do these in here, little taste of honey. We'll do these over here, little taste of honey. So then you can do whatever you want. As I say, I like this combo. Great banana, it's got a zesty bite to it. You can like put it, I'm gonna serve these to a couple of friends and then I'm gonna put the rest away. So there you go. I'll put a little bit of peanut bitter, bitter. <laughs> I'll put a bit of butter peanut butter on this one. And uh, you don't want to overwhelm it with the taste of anything in particular, but yeah, that's good. it's just delicious. Look at that. Oh, I haven't got time to show you me putting the ice cream on because I'm, I've got to go and have a brain surgery this afternoon. And um, I'm having a new brain put in. And uh, I hope it works. Because this old one, oh, I mean, it's got a lot of miles on it, you know what I mean? So look what I'm doing here. You start out by putting a little honey on it. That's the first application. The next is up to you. What, if, what do you want to do? Bring your own little things in. I like, I like little essence of tangerine, essence of orange, essence of lemon, you know, and just drop those into the mix too. It doesn't all have to be, you know, it can be anything you want, like black gauges, black currants, lemons, and limes. Those kind of things are this, they're the acidic fruits, but you can, you can get non-acidic fruits like melon and have that on the side. It's, it's just as a compliment. And you could do this for an hour with all your friends, couldn't you? Have an afternoon tea. So let's say this is the first official. My birthday is June 9th. I'm gonna be either 80 or 81 or 79. I don't care, it doesn't matter to me. I'll take it all. I got this far, didn't die. Be pretty bumpy along the way, but look at this today. This is a delight. People come over, we sit down, we have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or even a beer if you want. This is the kind of kibitzing you gotta be doing in your life when you get to the last, like I say, I'm on the last hole of the 18th hole in the game of, the golf game of life. So I called, I got a call from my doctor the other day. This is my standard wrap and I'm sticking to it. He said, Mr. Graham, I said, Mr. Graham was my father. You can call me Al. You can call me Al. He said, well, Al, I've got some bloody bad news for you, sir. I said, bring it, bitch. I mean, I got this far. What the hell, what bad news could you tell me? He said, well, you don't have very long left to live. Only about 20 or 30 years longer. And I said, well, that's kind of disappointing, Doc. I was going for 200. He said, well, I'm sorry to inform you that. Well, there's nothing wrong with you, by the way, except for you know, maybe up in, up in the noggin, but you're pretty, in pretty good shape for an old bastard. And I said, thanks so much, Doc, for that compliment. You rat-faced son of a bitch. No, I didn't, but I wanted to. And there you have it. That's my humor. This is my dessert. This is it. Try it. Nah. When you come to the fork in the road, take it.